Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Ghost Thief Deadly Shadows. <clears throat> We're gonna tackle day three in the city, and it's a big day. There's lots of stuff to do, so let's get started. Of course, not that much goes on initially. We start, as usual, in Garrett's building, and there's nothing to do but check to see if we can get Garrett's second broadhead arrow and clear the landlord's apartment. And, as usual, I like to practice. Uh, let's check the table. Nope, still clipped. No worries there. Hit the landlord's apartment. It's taken me some time to get used to, but people don't hear lockpicking in this game. They will hear you when you open and close the door. It says I should try to relax. Relax. Unbelievable. So in here, today, there are as always two broadheads in the chest and on the shelf above the desk, and it's hard to highlight it, there's a purse with 50 gold in it. That's it. Time to head out to South Quarter. Two water arrows in the fountain. Gonna go ahead and get the gas arrow above the passage to Stone Market. Uh oh. Oh good. Now let's get the broad heads out of this watch station. Go ahead and get, read the crime report as I head over to the well to get those bro two broadheads. City Watch Crime Report, District of South Quarter. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of South Quarter. Zero citizens were murdered, zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head, eight items of valuable property were reported stolen, zero locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged. Oh, fucking clown shoes. My computer's frozen. I don't know whether this is still recording or not, but... The good news is it's just Thief that was frozen, not my computer, so just had to make use of Control-Alt-Delete, so let's reload the quick save and try that again. I got Deadly Shadows through Steam, I'm not used to it failing like that. Anyway, let's finish reading this right quick. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch Authority, signed the Office of the Commissioner. Let's just catch up with you here. later, eh? Be careful of the watchman, as always. So get the two broadheads out of this bush. Head into this house. <laughs> no one's in here now, so the fire arrow is very easy for us to get. <laughs> I like to head this direction.
<laughs> Think if you wall flatten here, you should be okay. Careful, guy. As far as the watch goes. Head up here to the other watch station, get those two broadheads. Head to the merchant's stall to get his coins. There's a guy just stole something! Okay. What's funny is... I don't know, I guess that you're just that well hidden when you're wall flattened, because I've never bothered paying attention to him before, but apparently he does alert. If conditions are right. So let's... nab those coins. With that done, we'll head into Black Alley. Head to the good, same good old sewer grate. Get the water arrow, the landlord's blackmail money. Get the moss arrow out of the bush. And visit Heartless Perry to sell off all of our metal and gems. Hey Gary, how's the thieving going? So we're done for now. On day three, we get a couple of significant upgrades. We're gonna get the Keeper Door Glyph. Hey, how are things? Which will let us get to the docks is the biggest thing it lets us do. It also opens a secret area in Stone Market that we haven't been able to get to yet. And the, the biggest thing about getting to the docks in addition to just being in the docks where we haven't been yet is that the store in the docks sells the climbing gloves. The climbing gloves will allow us to, well, I'll keep talking once it starts loading. The climbing gloves will allow us to get to an area we haven't been able to reach in South Corner. It'll they'll let us get a gas arrow we haven't been able to get before in Stone Market and I think that's it for now. The other big thing that happens in day three is if you're so inclined, you shove me, buddy. You can start the faction quests. But like I explained at the beginning, I'll be skipping those. I'm gonna do the tavern first today, just to change things up. Nothing new in here, it's just the same two coins and two wines on the ground floor, but it seems like oh, okay. watch in every direction, in every direction, and all the time. One day you're looking the wrong way, they get you. I was about to say I thought that uh <laughs> I drew the stationary guy again, but no. I got the patroller, who's a little harder to deal with, but not by much. No real trouble. Oh. Unless Garrett does something stupid, like pick up a junk bottle when you're going for copper coins. Ah, uh, but I digress. Oh yeah, we also get access to the Keeper Library today. Which is a big deal all by itself. <laughs> Come on, G. Well, maybe I should just wait. Parola. Hey. Oh, unbelievable. Since when does he patrol all the way against the wall? You ever get that totally irrational but persistent feeling that a game is just messing with you? Got that feeling right about now. Must have been a mix up in the uniforms. Pants feel too tight. Boots are 
There we go. I'm gonna have blisters for Later, sure. asshole. Okay. Let's try that again. Coins. Thieves are getting bolder, they say. Going about armed. Just as happy to murder as steal a loaf of bread. There we go. So we got the two coins. Now we need to get behind the bar and get the two wine bottles. Someone's made off with it. I heard... His yellow alert over the copper coins just propagated to a green alert up on the top floor. Nothing to worry about. I shouldn't bother myself over nothing. All right, time to move. <sighs> I'll just use the bug to deal with this. I actually feel more justified doing it now even than I do with the pickpockets just because it's a clipping error that causes me to have to deal with it in the first place. Alright, got my wine bottles. I don't think he notices them missing. I'm not even going to bother going to Stone Market proper until I've been to the docks and gotten the climbing gloves. So I only have to go there once. So I'm going to go ahead and clear Plaza, at least to the extent I can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Too slow. Oh, no. I'm going to clear Plaza to, to the extent I can, which is everything except the new secret area that I can get to after visiting the Keeper Library. Then, I'm going to head on in to the Keeper Library. <laughs> Alright, G, come on. For a second, I thought I Too saw... Too slow again. Alright, new plan. We're just going to get to the corner, and then we're going to slip out behind him. Or we might even wait for another full cycle if we have to. Try to get out behind him. Catch up with you later, eh? Later, Holmes. All right, and we're out. So let's make sure we get the moss arrow under this tree. And I'm just gonna go straight to the balcony to get Brent's purse. I actually, I honestly think that's easier. I'll do. Well, he went out of his way just to come to these steps and say hello to me, didn't he? Oh well. Oh, big empty pit. That's how my stomach feels. My stomach. Garrett. Garrett's just a comical disaster right now. First he bumps into the crates, then he doesn't make the jump. Come on, Holmes, shape up. And by Garrett, I do, of course, mean me, because he doesn't actually do anything I don't tell him to. I trust all's well with you? Sight for sore eyes. Come on, G. Why can he suddenly not make this jump? Did you see? 
Sorry about this, folks. This is usually just a one-shot deal. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Maybe I need more caffeine. Aim in there. Don't even ask. There, finally. All right, so far so good. Now let's do the maneuver. Same as before. Aha! The watch will protect my business from you. Full combat alert that time. I wonder if his position has changed, if he's, uh, in a different spot, because I never got a full combat alert before. I got a clear conscience. They went hungry because they spent their money on shoes and other needless items. Try again. The watch will nope. protect my business. Well, folks, I have to admit, this is. I wonder. Hold on. Let me just do what I did last time. Go ahead and get the moss arrow under Brent's tree. always trying to take shortcuts and it's always costing me. I wonder if somehow having the chest open adjusts the light. Just so. I mean, I do know that the game takes into account dynamic shadows, so maybe it blocks just a little bit of bit of light from the candle. Enough to make a difference. Let's find out. I thought I felt a draft. Was that a noise? So he's spotting it open now. I feel like Brent's AI detection must be cranked up really high, too. Alright, well let's just give him a few seconds and then try it again. I thought I felt a draft. Alright, let's wait even a little bit longer. <laughs> What's nice is that after we destroy the clock tower, Brent disappears. I guess we're to assume that he died in the accident. I'm not gonna kill him, but good riddance all the same. I thought I felt a draft. <sighs> You're killing me, bud. Alright, let's wait a whole nother cycle. Never there when you need them. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. I thought I felt a draft. What in the world? Well, maybe I just need to take it and let it settle. I mean, noticing an open chest is not an alert related to being seen or heard. So it wouldn't bust my ghost. But... It just doesn't add up. Supply and demand, that's what it always comes down to. I can set my own price. But... It's not a missing loot alert either, so I'm not 
by my own rules, I'm not allowed to just ignore it and say that it's okay. Alright, I guess I finally waited long enough. So now the point is moot. Now let's try the rush again. <laughs> there is less light. That's amazing. How does that even work? I don't know. <gasps> Gotta find the watchman! But not that much less, apparently. Don't know. Am I am I trying to make the run too close to him? Is that it? If I get farther out of his field of view, will it give me that extra time I need? Let's find out. I <sighs> yes. Well, I don't know if opening the chest somehow helped or not, but. Ah, forget it. What's clear is that making the run a little farther out of his field of view did make a difference, so... Hello? Mmm. Better keep an eye out. I hate this feeling. <laughs> Funny what a guy will make himself see. Nothing but green. What's that? All done. Ah, just a noise then. Nothing to do with me. Later, douche hat. How was your day? Eh. Alright. Watchman's gone. Make our way back down. And I'll head over to Tursus Courtyard. Grab the gas arrow. On the way. Finally, here's Artemis. You've returned with the artifacts, Garrett. Excellent. Follow me. So the uh, city watchman who normally patrols out here has vanished. Just for day three, I guess because Artemis is going to lead us somewhere. So make sure to grab the moss arrow. And do what the man says. Follow him. pointed into the library, so I guess I'll take a look at that funky bug and then I'll head on in. The repetition of these three glyphs, here and here, now is the Termanus Emboleon. The times are written, the end of words. words. And here, again the mark of the Fratelli Traderos. Yes, warnings. Terrible, unvisagens afale, impardon porta animus potenti. The prophecies are clear. There is much ahead to be wary of. Interpreter Kataka, your words are most useful clear to- Clear as mud. Exactly what will happen, and what are we supposed to do about it? I'm still waiting to see a useful book. We must first understand the unwritten times, if we are to prevent them. First Keeper Orland demands immediate audience. You've moved up in the world, Orland. Nice view. Yes, I have. It's First Keeper Orland now, Garrett. Within these walls, you answer to me. You called me here to remind me you're in charge? The job must not keep you very busy. You inquired about books. Useful books. That's right. You must have something in here worth reading. You think you might shape events more skillfully? Read the signs more clearly? The prophecy. Shape events? 
Interesting way to put it. I'm here now. Do you want my help or not? Very well. This will admit you to certain areas of the library. Do not venture further. You will not ply your trade here, thief. If anything happens, you will be held accountable. Is this clear? Perfectly. Perhaps you should translate for Kataka. So if you were paying attention in that cutscene, you'll have noticed two things. First, another weird moment with a gargoyle, its eyes opened when Garrett moved past it. And second, I just love Garrett's sly little smile when Artemis tells him he won't ply his trade here. Yeah, right, we're gonna rob these fuckers blind. Anyway, let's see what just happened to our objectives. We have completed the objective to deliver the chalice and paw to Artemis in Tursus Courtyard in Stone Market Plaza. We now have several new things to do. We have an objective to search around the Keeper Library for clues about the Dark Age, speak to Keeper Artemis before you leave the library, speak to Keeper Isolde before you leave the library. Well, that's it for now. We're this is Orland's office. Later, though. He is busy and has nothing more to say to you for now. You see, that sign, of course, tells us that this is the office of First Keeper Orland. I'm going to pickpocket the Keeper Elders Has just because. Has there cause. been any progress, Elder Granger? On which quest? The reacquisition of the Compendium of Reproach or of its Glyph Key? Either. We will need both items in our hands if Watch we wish to make any headway into our research concerning the coming Dark Age. There would be considerably more progress if the teams were allowed to consult with Interpreter Kaduka. Impossible. She seeks the Brethren and Betrayer, and her work must not be interrupted. Then the answer to your previous question is... no. What will it take to find them then, do you think? The Council would like time to prepare for the prophecies that are contained within the Compendium. They have both been missing for so long. But I am sure with all of us continuing to scour the library and the compound for passages that refer to them, we'll have the precise answer within a reasonable time period. Meanwhile, just in case, I have scribes searching for any book matching its physical description. A large golden slab, sealed with a glyph. So, the Keepers are hoping to solve the Dark Age problem <coughs> by it. finding this right compendium and glyph key. I'm pretty good at acquiring lost objects. As heedless as Maybe ever, I, I can see. Help. So if you head to the left from there, you find a book right here. Keeper Rafe, journal entry number 6145. Why hasn't Council assigned a team for my expedition? They know the dangers, how the area is swarming with strange creatures. Else why lock the entrance so carefully? How can I do it alone? Still, they must have their reasons. The sunken citadel holds many secrets, and though I am afraid, I also long to journey there again. More importantly, of course, is the glyph key. How many years has it lain underground? Decades? We were so close with the first expedition. If only we hadn't been attacked. We'd have the key now, and Keeper Soldad would still be alive. Her death must not be in vain. I will retrieve the key successfully on this next venture. Well, if this guy thought the glyph key was in this sunken citadel, I, told them I don't see why I shouldn't go look they there. Didn't want Sounds to like me. it might be a profitable trip. So now we've got an objective to... An another new objective. Search the sewers in the docks to locate the entrance to the sunken citadel in order to find the missing glyph key that the keepers are looking for. There's a note here. Notice from the Council regarding the impending Dark Age. Since it is of utmost importance that Interpreter Kataka continue her quest to, to uncover the identity of the Brethren and Betrayer, she should not be interrupted for any reason. Also, several Elders have been tasked with other urgent endeavors, including the search for the missing Compendium of Reproach in the Glyph Key that unlocks it. The Compendium, a large golden slab sealed with a glyph, may contain prophecies pertinent to the Dark Age problem and has been missing for well over a decade. It is useless without its glyph key, which we believe may have gone missing around the same time. If you have been assigned to one of the quest groups, an elder will contact you. Over here, I don't think there's anything. No. 
Let's just head downstairs. You know, the keepers always seemed reasonably competent in the first two games, but maybe that's because our interactions were pretty exclusively limited to Keeper Artemis. The rest of them seem kind of retarded. So, I'm going to turn left first. If the malformed glyphs were saved for study. Listen to pickpocket another elder and listen to the conversation. Elder Draco, may I speak with you? I think I've found something in my studies. A connection. Go on and speak up, scribe. I can barely hear you. Well, everyone knows the compendium of reproach has been missing. And then last week, I scribed a passage, and it read, The compendium will be born by a terrible storm. Yes, I remember the report. Interesting. Yet, no sign of any inclement weather, eh, Scribe? No, but then, just a few days ago, a ship came into the docks area. Do you remember the report from Keeper Alcott? He said the ship had managed to get itself into port, though no one was left alive to man it. A plague ship. The crew. Undead. Yes, it is indeed a tragedy, and a mystery, but I see no connection. A storm would not cause the ship to befall such a fate. No, but the name of the ship, Elder Draco. The name of the ship is the Abysmal Gale. Is that not another way of saying terrible storm? This is the connection of which I speak. Ah, I see your point. And the error in your thinking. The compendium was lost ages ago. How could it possibly be on a ship that has just come into port? But... Enough, scribe. I have important business to attend to, in case you haven't heard. There's a dark age approaching. Yes, Elder Draco. Thank you for speaking with me. Maybe the scribe is on Blast. something. It's we gone. should check no. out this ship, the Abysmal Gale, next time I visit the docks. So that gives us some new objectives. First, we have completed the objective to search around the Keeper Library for clues about the Dark Age. And we have an objective to enter the ship called the Abysmal Gale in the docks to see if it's related to the Compendium of Reproach that the Keepers are searching for. There's some things to read in here as well. Talia, I wanted to run this by you before I bring it to, the, to an Elder. You know how we search for the Compendium of Reproach in our efforts regarding the Dark Age? Well, I recently scribed a passage in which the compendium was mentioned. It said it will be born by a terrible storm. Then later we heard that report about the ghost ship and all those undead. Completely unrelated to our work, right? Or is it? Because the name of that ship is the Abysmal Gale. Do you see? Abysmal Gale, terrible storm, they mean the same thing. Imagine if it were my own efforts that led to the recovery of the compendium. Tell me if you think I've got something here. Your friend, Scribe Elsa. And there's another book over here. Keeper Council Report. Keeper Rafe will be allowed to return to the sunken citadel. They left out a two, but Keeper Rafe will be allowed to return the sunken citadel in an effort to retrieve what he believes to be the lost glyph key that opens the compendium of reproach. If his theory proves correct, then his success will bring us that much closer to a solution for the Dark Age. However, his request for a team has been denied, as more than one life was lost on the last expedition, and we cannot risk another such contingency. Furthermore, without proof that the glyph key is located in the sunken citadel, it would be un wise for us to overextend our resources in what could be unfruitful, despite, despite the plentitude of valuables reported by Rafe. Lastly, the Council has, deter has deemed the Citadel unsafe, and forbids any Keeper to approach the sealed entryway in the Dock's sewers without prior approval. So Artemis is over there. I'm going to head this way first and talk to Isolde, but first, another note to read. Artemis, the passage I scribed below is all I could find on the subject you requested. Keeper Belios said there were other books, but we could not find them. Perhaps someone else is making similar inquiries. Balance, Keeper Austeria. Sentience, also known as artifacts, soul stones, or relics. A grouping of five objects possessing special powers and what is thought to be a consciousness, normally only associated with living entities. 
presumably created as part of an ancient safeguard against the forces of evil. Examples include the Heart and the Chalice, also called the Builder's Cup by the Hammerites. Efforts to confine all the sentience to one place for study have failed. How and when they came into existence is not known. Recommend further study. There's a lot to read in the Keeper Library. But it's good. I like all the flavor text in the Thief games. That's one of my favorite things about it. So first, up top, before I head down, there's just another note to read. Two elders regarding Interpreter Katika from F.K. Orland. Many have expressed frustration that the process of interpreting the glyphs regarding the Dark Age and the Brethren and Betrayer is taking too long. But be assured, Interpreter Katika is consulting the books as much as her health allows. It should be said that the constant exposure to the books and the physical act of reading the glyphs has been a terrible strain on her. You will recall that Katika is one of the younger interpreters we have had, but already she has spoken of a successor due to the marked aging effect of the readings. For now, Katika continues to have readings every day and believe she is close to important truths. For further concerns, please see me. And I'll just head down here right quick to get a comment from Garrett. This way leads to the forbidden libraries. I could sneak my way in, but I can't let any keepers catch me in there. You certainly cannot sneak your way in that direction. Greetings, Keeper. What? I wasn't listening. Hello, Garrett. Orland informs me that you are to receive the Keeper Door Glyph. You must perform the scribe ritual to do so. Place your hands into the indentations on the plaque behind me. That is all. Uh, could someone have just taken it? So after she speaks to us, we get a new objective, which is pretty simple. Use the plaque on the wall near Keeper Isolde to receive the Keeper Door Glyph. So first I'm going to read this. To all acolytes and scribes, it has come to my attention that some of you have not yet undergone the acolyte ritual, and that there have been unsubstantiated rumors about the safety of such practices. The acolyte ritual, as a simple keeper indoctrination, is completely safe and is mandatory for all scribes. After the ritual, you will be able to see and use the keeper door glyph. The importance of acquiring this glyph cannot be stressed enough. Without it, a keeper would be unable to see or open the myriad secret glyph doors that have been placed throughout the city to mask our presence, bypass city gates, store supplies, and aid our maneuverability. The current citywide quarantine is a perfect example of the importance of the Keeper Door Glyph, as with it we can easily pass between South Quarter and Docks using our secret door near the gate. If you have any questions, an elder can assist you, First Keeper Orland. Well that's useful, let's do it. Oops. New upgrade acquired! This glyph will allow you to see and open keeper doors. Look for this glyph on a wall, then use it and a door will appear. Very well, Garrett. You now have all the powers of an acolyte. You are able to see and open keeper doors. Look for the glyph. Keeper Artemis also wishes to see you, I believe. Farewell. So when she finishes talking, if we go back to our objectives we have completed, use the plaque on the wall near Keeper Isolde to receive the Keeper Door Glyph. We've completed Speak to Keeper Isolde before you leave the library. And, of course, if we go to Garrett, we've got a new upgrade, the Door Glyph. Hi. May your glyphs aid you. So let's, uh, let's talk to Artemis right quick. Garrett, I have troubling news. The Hammerites and the Pagans have discovered it was you who stole their artifacts. Both factions are very angry. However, they are willing to overlook your recent crimes if you are willing to aid them by performing specific tasks. Until then, beware, for they will attack you on sight. A Hammerite named Inspector Drept wrote this missive for me to deliver to you. I contacted a pagan shaman named Diane, and she agreed to post a similar note for you on the Good outskirts evening, of the Revered pagan Elder. territory, in the docks. I have done what I can to aid you. Farewell, and good luck. 
great. The Hammers and Pagans are mad at me because of jobs I did for the Keepers. You need I better find Garrett. out what they want and then decide whether or not I want to bother trying to improve their opinion of me. So first things first, in this room there's a copper ring. Skadoosh, worth 25. Now let's see what we've got here. We have completed the objective to speak to Keeper Artemis before you leave the library. We've got a new object, two new objectives. Read the letter the Hammerite Inspector Drept has left for you. It is on the table in front of Artemis. Go to the, excuse me, go to the Dox's Pagan Stronghold and read the letter left for you by the Pagan Priestess Diane. So if you go to the Faction menu, now that it's there, you see that Hammers and Pagans are both hostile to us, which is actually how I'm going to leave it. I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna do any of their side missions. And I uh, talked at length about why in the first video, but let's read Drett's letter first of all. Garrett, the prescribed penalty for your crimes against us is death. However, I have convinced the Hammerite clergy to grant thee lenience, provided thou first perform enough of the following acts of atonement. First, the rust mites are large gold-colored bugs that feed upon metal and undo our works. We hereby grant thee the builder's blessing to destroy them with your arrows. Secondly, thou can smite the undead, for they are most abhorrent to us. For each of these tasks thou accomplish, your standing with the hammer order will increase a small amount, whereas stealing from us or attacking any hammerite will assuredly decrease your standing. The choice is thine. At present, any hammerite will attack thee on sight if they find you on city streets. If thou increase thy standing with us sufficiently, we will allow thee to pass unharmed. Do us many of these favors, and thou wilt be considered an ally and allowed into Fort Ironwood in Old Quarter. Lastly, tis my custom to ask everyone with whom I speak if they have seen a sort of hag, or heard rumors of an old grey lady near the scene of a gruesome crime. If so, twould be a great favor to me to tell what you know. Tis my life's ambition to find the hag, but my misfortune to always be ten steps behind her. My workshop is located in Aldale, near the pub. Builder save thee, Inspector Drept. The Hammer Priests have blessed your bow with the ability to destroy rust mites. Shoot them with broadhead arrows. Everybody cracked up at this juncture the first time they played Thief 3 because anyone who played Thief Gold